This is a quick video of our integral action, our I-only control. In the previous video, I did P-only control. I highly recommend watching that video. It's about six or seven minutes long. Now, the difference between I-action and P-action is uh, P-action, or proportional control action, has a bias. Integral action typically doesn't. You can just have the bias set to zero. So really, the percent the valve is open at time t is equal to kc times 1 over tau i, tau i is the controller reset time, plus, plus the integration of the error. So what is the integration of the error? Basically, it's the summation of all the error generated. So the difference between proportional control and integral control is for proportional control, it needs a constant error where integral action needs previous error. It needs previous error to get where you want it. So, um, something about the controller reset is if the controller reset is a very large number, that's the equivalent of saying you don't want any integral action. Because 1 over a very large number is 0, so Kc times 0 is just 0, so the percent the valve is going to be open is 0, assuming your bias is 0. But we want it a reasonable number. We're going to make it 10. And again, if you make the controller reset time, tau i, very small. You're going to say the integral action is very important, and I want a lot of it. But we're going to have it around 10. Now we're going to turn on all our pumps, and actually start the program and turn on all our pumps. So I have the set point at 50% empty. And what do we have? Well, we don't have enough flow through the valve. Or, I mean, the valve is only at 1.3% open. The reason that is, is because remember, the integration needs, you need to sum up some error. You need to build error behind it. So now it's at 4 to 5% open. That's a very good thing. And it's actually opening quite a lot. This uh, graph right here is the um, percent the valve is open. So right now it's at 9.3. So that's how much, that's what the integral action is doing, is doing right there. And what we saw is it overshot when it was at when it was at the set point, the valve was open way too much. So it allowed way too much fluid to flow out. So it needs to start closing. So it has this negative error, and that's going to start decreasing it. So what do we see? We see the integral action allowing the closing. Basically, it's closing the valve. And what's going to happen is it's closing the valve way too much. Way too much. It's closing the valve way too much. And now that it's close to the set point, it's saying it's basically 0% open, which is a bad thing because it needs to be around 6 or 7% open for our system. So now what we see is, okay, we overshot, so now we have positive error again. So it's building up that summation of error, and it's building up how much we want the valve open. And what are we going to see again? We're going to see it rise back up in probably 10 seconds. It's going to rise back up, but it's going to be open way too much. Like right now, this is probably where we need, around 6.5%. 6, 5, 6 Instead, when it's at the set point, when it's at the set point, it's at 9% open. That's way too much. We don't want it there. We want it at around 6%. So what we're going to do is fast forward. And what you'll see over time, oh, actually, this is a perfect oscillation. Okay, I was expecting it to dampen off a little bit. What we have here is perfect oscillation. And this is the biggest problem with, uh, with integral action. So I actually want to show you, um, instead of this, I want to show you a different system where we change the, uh, the system around. But this is one of the big problems. We get close to the set point, but it's oscillating. That's not a good thing. Or it, well, it might be. It depends on how you want to do it. So instead, let's look at it this way. We're going to clear all the graphs, start the program. And instead of it being at 0.5%, we're going to have it, we're going to have it at 70% empty. So we have this stepwise function, and what do we see? Well, if we fast forward, we see it overshoots. Same thing it did before. Let's just fast forward again. It's, it's oscillating, but you see the oscillations are actually dampening. And pretty soon, it's almost getting to our set point. So integral action gets to our set point unless you get really bad oscillations. Like we had very bad oscillations when it was 50% open. So bad oscillations that didn't happen there because we had a stepwise change, or a step, a, a step change. So that's the integral action. It causes oscillations. 
So now let's combine that with uh, P control. Because remember, integral action has the biggest problem is that it's it's either open way too much when it's at the set point and overshoots, or it's closed way too much and undershoots again. So it does that. Where P action was either just a little off all the time at the end. It didn't do this crazy oscillation. So let's see what happens if we turn on proportional control. So now we have PI control. Stop, clear all the grass, start program, or turn on everything, start program. So what we see right away, so we see this massive amount of P control taking over. And then it slowly decreases, Why the integral action slowly increases. So the total action is right here. This blue line right here is the, is the total action being taken by the PID controller. And it's just the summation of both of these actions. Now, look, when, the, when it, we're close to the set point, we see P action it starts to cancel out the I action. So it actually starts to decrease how much it allows the valve to be open. So that's kind of neat. So what we'll see is if we fast forward, as we actually see it level off. We don't get that oscillation. So P action actually causes it to dampen a little, or a lot in this case. So it dampens a, a lot. Now, so it dampened that one pretty good. Let's look at it when we were at, sorry, not 0.9, but 0.5. So we'll clear it. Clear. So let's start the program. Now remember, when we did it with integral action, we got very bad oscillations. So what do we get this time? Did we get oscillations? Oh, do we get oscillations? It's going away. It's going away from our system. But look, P is taking, is taking off very fast. And the integral action is slowly catching up. Now they're passing each other. Integral action is having more part of the system, is having a bigger part of the actual action. Why P is slowly decreasing, and we see it going back upwards, and most likely it's going to oscillate just a little, just a little, and what do we see? We see this P action actually dampening it. It goes to a negative, saying no, the valve needs to be shut. It needs to be shut. It needs to have, so it's going to maybe a negative 0.05% closed, so I don't know how you can close the valve more, but saying no, you need to shut the valve instead of having it opened all the way. So we get that closure of oscillation. So let's actually look at it, something like that. What happens? We see the P, the P action take a big hit, and then the integral action slowly catch up to it. But so I don't know what I'm trying to really say. Um, but I mean, uh, I guess one of the big things is you see how this this giant kick. P action is known as we call that the uh, proportional kick, and it's when you have a uh, step change. So it always has that massive kick. So I just I needed to point that out. So I think that kind of shows you the idea of the oscillation, why it's a bad thing, and why integral action doesn't require a bias. A bias. Remember, P action required a bias. Integral action doesn't. So when you combine them together, you don't need a bias anymore. So all you need to do is set controller gain and controller reset time. And just remember, controller gain affects the proportional control and the integral control. And really, what you can think of uh, think of the uh, the the uh, controller gain, how it affects the integral action is just I mean it's a ratio. It's Kc over tau i. So Kc over tau i, and so it's I mean you can just affect how it affects the system. Uh, this is a longer video than I want it to be. Uh, hopefully that makes any, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comments section below.